Hey everyone, it feels like it's been a long time since we saw you. I hope everything's going really well. Chief and I went to the library again, and you know that's one of our favorite places, so we got loads and loads of books. This one today is The Lending Zoo. I never heard of a lending zoo. It's kind of like a library, but for pets. So cool. It was a sunny morning and Miss Perkins was in a sunny mood. After feeding her pets, she hopped on her scooter and drove to her job at the lending zoo. She put her helmet on first. That makes me happy. There's a giraffe and some monkeys and an elephant and there's an owl. So many things at the lending zoo. When she arrived, a little late as usual, a line had already formed at her checkout desk. Everyone in the line had chosen an animal to borrow from the lending zoo. He's got a snake. She's got a zebra. He's got a big bird. The last person in line was a young girl Miss Perkins had never met before. Hi, my name is Molly, said the young girl. And I just like to take home a... Just then, Mr. Woozle, the lending zookeeper, came running down the hall. He's running fast. Past a fox and past a cow. Miss Perkins, he cried, something's wrong with our tiger pancake. He refuses to eat his breakfast. I hope he's not ill, said Miss Perkins. Shall I call the doctor, asked Mrs. Mr. Woozle. Not yet, replied Miss Perkins. Let's go have a look at Pancake first. Can I come along, asked Molly. Sure, said Miss Perkins. Just follow me. She put up a sign that said, be right back. When Miss Perkins, Molly, and Mr. Woozle arrived at Pancake's shelf, they were met with a disturbing surprise. Can you see? Pancake was nowhere in sight. Oh my, cried Mr. Woozle. Pancake must have wandered off. I do hope he's all right. That's his shelf. It says Pancake the Tiger. But there is no tiger there. Look, over there, cried Molly. Aren't those tiger paw prints? They sure are, said Miss Perkins. Pancake must have taken a swim in the duck pond. There's the duck pond, and those are the tiger prints. Look at all the animals on their shelves. And here's where he left the lending zoo, said Molly. You're right, said Miss Perkins. Then she turned to Mr. Woozle and asked, Mr. Woozle, would you please keep an eye on my desk while Molly and I go looking for pancake? She even brought her spyglass. Miss Perkins and Molly followed Pancake's paw prints down crowded streets, helmets on, past busy beaches. Down winding lanes and across city rooftops. If you look closely, there's something there you might need to see. <gasps> They're jumping over. Mr. Lion, Mr. Tiger. Hmm, we'll see. All the way back to the lending zoo. Pancake the Tiger! Look! Pancake is back on a shelf, cried Molly. Welcome back, said Miss Perkins as she gave the wayward tiger a great big hug. Then she turned to Mr. Woozle and asked, why don't you try feeding him now? Do you think he's gonna eat? When Mr. Woozle offered Pancake his breakfast, the tiger gobbled it up in one bite. Pancake seems fine now, exclaimed Mr. Woozle. I guess he just needed some fresh air and exercise. I like the way he's eating with his little tongue stuck in there. Now tell me, Miss Perkins asked Molly, 
What animal did you want to borrow from the lending zoo? Actually, I was hoping to borrow a tiger, replied Molly. Excellent choice, Miss Perkins said as she issued Molly a lending zoo card. Have Pancake back by the 10th of May or you'll have to pay a fine for each day he's overdue. Isn't that so funny? She got a leash and we're taking a tiger out. By then the line at the checkout desk was quite long. Now how may I help you, Miss Perkins asked a little boy with a panda in his arms. Everybody lines up to get their animal. That would be such a fun way to see your pets, wouldn't it? You could just play with all different kinds of animals from the zoo. Okay, maybe some of them might be hard to have in your house, like an elephant or a giant giraffe, but it sure would be fun. Take care, everyone. It was fun to read with you. Have a great night. Bye.